From Left Side Right Side Games, I'm Marty Q. Pebbleton, and this is Chalking Points. This week we've got a question from Jimothy Squidbiter, which is the sort of name I make up for you if you ask politely. Jimothy writes, Dear Artie, Hi, long-time viewer, first-time question submitter. I'm wondering if you could shed any light on where the phrase on the fritz comes from. Thanks, Jimothy. Jimothy, this is an excellent question, because here in Chicago, we're just starting to get into air conditioner season, and mine happens to be just that, on the fritz. So for those of you that aren't aware of this idiom, when a machine or device is on the fritz, it means it's temperamental, faulty, or on the verge of breaking, if it isn't already broken. Some people like to connect the phrase on the fritz to the German name Fritz, a nickname for Friedrich. Fritz was the jocular term used to refer to Germans as a whole during the First World War. This usage is called the synecdoche, or part for whole substitution, but you don't need to remember that. This is an excerpt from a 1915 letter from British Second Lieutenant Dennis Dobbin Oliver Barnett, who died in Flanders later that year. Quote, By that time, of course, Fritz had made himself scarce. End quote. I think the supposition here connecting it to On the Fritz is that German-made war material was maybe of shoddy make and on the verge of breaking when the Entente powers came across them, but this is incorrect. On the Fritz has nothing to do with World War I. It's at least 12 years older than that conflict, and while it's tempting to tie it etymologically to a later cultural event, it is bad history to do so. Now with that out of the way, according to the Oxford English Dictionary, the first usage of this term is from 1903, and the second recorded usage is from 1906. Both of these are from books about actors. The 1903 citation is from Conversations of a Chorus Girl, and the 1906 citation is from At the Actors Boarding House. Now this is pure conjecture, but I'd like to put forth the idea that this is a theatrical expression for the following reason. All the research I've done indicates that on the fritz is imitative, what you'd call onomatopoeia, which I am staggered to have spelled correctly. It's imitating the sound of a short circuit fizzling out, and the phrase short circuit as a verb dates back to the dawn of publicly available electricity back in 1867. Now, by the beginning of the 20th century, most theaters had switched from gas lamps and lime lamps to incandescent bulbs and carbon arc lamps because it was extremely modern to do so, but a widespread adoption of pretty new technology means that there's going to be a lot of incidences of that new technology failing, thus the sound of a short circuit and a light failing. This imitative word sound was applied to an earlier expression, on the blink, which meant much the same thing, but referred more to the flickery light of a failing incandescent lamp. And that's how I'm fairly certain we got on the fritz. There's a lot to unpack today, a lot I left undiscussed, like the history of stage lights, the expression in the limelight, and slang from the First World War. If you want to bring up any of those things, or really anything at all, do so in the comments below and we'll hash it all out together. Jimothy, thanks so much for your question, man. I had so much fun doing the research for this one. Until next time, laugh, learn, light up your language. I'm Marty Q. Pebbleton, and I'll see you around. For an afterclick, you can see a little cliplet of Minnesota Public Radio's wits, where the name Jimothy originates. This sketch doesn't have a Jimothy in it, but it does have hamsters and Kristen Shaw. Enjoy!